Captain's Blog. It is Friday, June 17th, and it's 1844 hours, and check this out. We now have power for all three of the big CNC machines is installed. So now, um, day after tomorrow, Sunday, um, we'll get them all unpacked. They take out the shipping stuff, and then the machines will be online in time for next week. Yay! So that's that accomplishment. Um, Steve's doing big stuff in Master Control. Kidwell and the guys are doing stuff. We've been working in a high voltage lab all day. Um, working on tuning the coils with an oscilloscope and all that jazz. And now we're chasing weird power issues with building stuff. Because we got circuits that, the, the building's wiring sucks. We got circuits that are supposed to work that don't. And hi, what are you guys doing? She's getting it under this wire. Oh, we're moving the scaffolding? Yeah. Okay. Now we're moving the scaffolding because we've got these conduits up there with wires hanging out, but up on the other end, the wires, are, they're just cut off. So it's just crap, jank, nastiness that we're cutting down. Um, and oh, hey, we got, we got an interesting, check, check this out. Um, over here, we got a thing, where'd it go? And, oh, look, we got that. Notice a violation! We got violated because... It was a city building inspector. The east facing wall towards the rear of the property is missing its facing masonry brick. This is because the previous tenants were idiots and knocked a big hole in the wall and then just tried to fill it with cinder block and didn't like put facing bricks or anything on it. And then the other one is uh, we violated section 8.12a because the exterior security lighting along the top of the building wired with loose Romex exterior electrical wiring must be encased in conduit. And yes, it must. Previous tenants, remember the Romex on the roof? Okay, that, that just hung over the side that was hooked to the roof with other loose bits of Romex? Yeah, they finally wrote us up for that. So we got up on the roof today and cut all that out and we're getting it all cleaned up. That's a whole process. So that's another thing. So this is all squared away. We called the dude. Talk to them. They like us now. Um, what else is going on? Steve, come here. Yes. What have you accomplished today? Oh, I just got power back in high voltage. Camera's back on. Okay, where was that breaker? Uh, it's number 15, I believe, in that panel. Oh, okay. Over, so over. It, was, it was tripped, but it, it wasn't showing tripped? Yeah. Ah, yeah, so. I, I love the quality breakers here. Oh, wonderful breakers. Quality, quality the, stuff here. The cover is around the corner, just inside the cafe door. Okay. And it's called pool outlets on there, so. That's oh. the only way I found it was I managed to find Now what's budget. what's going on in master control? We are working on hopefully getting the master control switcher in there running soon. I'm in the middle of programming all the internal re routing relationships on that whole So mess. you're in like the third circle of software hell, really. Well, it's somewhere between software and hardware. So <laughs> <laughs> it's like firmware. Oh, okay. So, well you guys have fun, we'll have more as it happens. Yeah, I got one one bolt left, and then I can do that. Do we need another? No, we're good. No. So, Batman, what's going on here? We're replacing the old jank panel that was on the door. Gotcha. Gave it a nice new one. All right, up. You want me to help? Yeah, help. I think we got one. Oh, we got another one. We're done. We're done. One more? Yeah, go. Oh, Moose just like beat out. So tell them what you did, Moose. Oh, we replaced the bottom panel on the truck, which had split in half, and uh, we fixed the leak in the roof of the truck today. Okay. But it wasn't just, you didn't just replace the panel, there was like a whole process. Yeah. Take the old panel out, we had to cut the new panel to fit, we had to route the panel, we had to use a chisel on the panel, and replace all of the bolts and all of the hardware. It was like a two hour process. Okay. Cool. But it's done. It looks a hell of a lot better. It should hold a heck of a lot better. We gotta paint it. We gotta we'll, paint we'll paint it for sure. And we don't. And we shouldn't have any problems with water getting into them as well. Oh, I, cool. I had so. to crawl on top of the truck. She, yeah, there's there's a, an interesting after experience to that you were talking there's, about. There's fiberglass in my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old. I'm just saying. It, it just keeps getting funnier every time you say that. Oh, it's true. My. Sad that's, but true. That's kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Dave! Yeah! What are you doing in here? Sinks. Sinks? Yeah, Show sinks. me. You've been cleaning this? Yeah. The sinks looked like that. 
but about 10 times worse. Yeah, they were pretty grody. Yeah, so I got in here, a little bit of simple green. And You've been on this for a while. This has been like, you know, a while. A little bit, yeah. It's, it looks kind of worlds boring. better. That that looks like a proper sanctum. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully a couple months, we'll food in them. Hey, yo, cafe. A couple it's weeks. Coming. Yeah, couple yeah weeks. it's close. It's close, so. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, good job, man. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Is that good? Yeah, I'm, I can reach it. It's right here now. I can yeah. I can reach the mess, and the other end's all disconnected and just hang in. And yeah, that was good work, previous tenants. You idiots. I hope you die in a fire. Hey, Steve. Yeah. I got your screwdriver. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Hey, Steve. Yes. I got a sonic screwdriver. Thank you. And these are all not hot, so I can disconnect those and get that out of there. Those should be circuits one through four on the panel in the cafe kitchen. Well, I have two hots and a neutral, so they're not... Oh, it gets really exciting. Have you? Did you look at the color coding of the wires coming out of the LB over there? No, I have not. You've got like five hots and two neutrals. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just wonderful. Check this out. We now have bleachers in the high voltage lab right here. These are, we rebuilt them, but these are the original bleachers for what used to be the swimming pool in here. They had bleacher seating. So yeah, you can see, remember the mounts on the wall we didn't know what they were for? They're for these. We found the old rails in the basement. We had to make new wood for it, but those are bleachers. High quality, high tech work there. Hey, Paul! Hi. What you doing? Well, there's a wire that's been hanging loose in this motor for a while. And I just undid a nut, number two actually, right there. And it had this little thing where a wire used to be. And there's only one wire that could have gone there. So I'm going to replace it or put it back on that terminal. Okay. Now, I don't know if you're, yeah, you should be able to get that. We have a hole in that plate. Something evil nasty happened there at some point. But what this basically tells me is we need a new motor. On top of that, the ground wire wasn't a ground wire. The prong was busted off at this end and it was just sliced off at this end, or rather burned off. And the hot was going to the bottom and the white was going to the top and the top is plainly labeled line. So basically everything that could have been done wrong or messed up in here <laughs> was. That motor's had a long and hard life. Yes, it has. So I'm thinking that wire, it's the only place it can go and there's the only place where there's evidence that there used to be a wire and there isn't anymore. Well, let's see so if we can fix it. I'm gonna hook that up. And then I got that all cleaned up, the entry, the gazinta. So I'm going to get that cleaned up and hopefully get this thing wire, wired up. If I don't lose the wires inside the motor. All right, so we're up on the roof now, you can see. There's, we're on the roof. And this is the office air conditioning unit. And look at that, that's, that's your quality workmanship there. They used uh, inappropriately sized wire. They used 10 gauge wire there now 10 gauge wire is rated for 30 amps as everybody knows and the fuse on here is very clearly a 50 amp fuse so good job guys trying to pull 50 amps through a 30 amp wire is like trying to put 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag it's just going to get messy eventually and it's going to suck so 
That's why the air conditioning doesn't work. It melted the block out, you can see up on top, and uh, it's, it's, it's pooched. We need to do a whole new thing up here and rebuild this. So we need a 50 amp 240 feed up through the roof. So that's a call to the electrician. Yay, AJ's loving us. All right, time is 2023 20, hours, Friday, June 17th. Here we go. Cap. System hot. Set my camera right there. Two hands for this. Fire! can't really see it, it's cooled off enough now, but we just had the electro glowing cherry red. No, we had it glowing white hot. I could it, see it the was, glow. It was iridescent? It was reflecting <laughs> off the disc. That's not bad. Is that huh? Yeah, yeah. So. Whew. All right, so what'd you guys think of that? Awesome. <laughs> this is our guinea pigs here. The first crew to see the coil come into tune and have its initial low power testing. So, what do you think? Turn it off. I want to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I want to very badly. We're just not there yet. I want to put on the breakout so the distance between, because it's so damn close to reaching out and touching. All right, put low. You can try it. That's like, All right. what do we got? We'll be back. We're, we're, we're working what with do we science. Got? It's like, so what do you think, Dave? <laughs> hey Paul You're going to knock that off the other side It's fine The midpoint of this Okay You get out of there, I'll turn it on again You ready Paul? Change is safe Player K, just some hot. Smoking here. I think the glass melted and we lost our gas on this food. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because there was no glow coming out from the end here. Chris, did you see that one tube spiral? There's a tiny no, little hole in that's it. That's not, no, that's, uh, that's just where the. Uh, oh, we blasted it off on the inside? Yeah. Is there a hole in it? It's. You may have to look inside. I may have to look inside. Yeah, here, let me see. The other one. Don't yeah. drop it down on the floor. Why? Because then somebody's got to sweep it up. Oh, okay. I'm, and I'm, it'll probably be me. Oh, 
It feels solid. Okay, get another one. Why, is this one broken? I'm, if it, I saw no glow in the end of that tube. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. It used to be cooler. We used to have these, the, we had a building years ago that used to be a sausage factory, and it had all these fluorescent tubes in it that had a plastic coating, and if you dropped them, that's what you're expecting. But with the old ones, when you dropped them, they just fall to the ground and go And it freaks people out when you do that. So, all right, we're going to need a couple more. <laughs> that tube was defective. It broke. <laughs> the microphones are on the front, so don't cover the front. You ready? Yeah. Don't look at the gap. Today on Adventures with Paul, we're inside the, um, well, um, yeah, um, he's turning it on. Interesting. The bearings on this are really good. Huh? This is very good. Well, there's a lot of weight on that road. And that's all. Now, that's, that's a lot of tungsten. you can't see from out there that I couldn't put the camera on it because of the blinding light were the molten blobs of metal that go spraying out <laughs> on the floor. Um, can you say turbine wheel disintegration area? Yeah, 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 okay. I mean, and just, oh, we'll, wow. have to, we'll have to build some kind of entrapment where, because I want to capture those molten blobs as they come out, mm -hmm. so we'll build a way where there's something they fly out and bend into and cool. Okay, it wouldn't take much. No, it'll be fun. All right, let's, let's shoot the video on, on how to tune. All right, you guys have fun. We're gonna make another video now, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. That's today's Captain's Blog. Thank you for watching and enjoying our science here at the Geek Group. Thank you, all of you guys.